Chris here. I did decide to do a little bit more. And because I just actually kind of want to play the game. That's actually probably most of the reason. But we're going to just go in and load it. Ta-da! So let's see. We're back in the easy bath. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure everything's good. Spinner is no simple witch. Ooh. It's not the last time we'll hear of her. Well done, Vasya. She's taking a liking to you. Nice. The couldn't have gone better. Nice. All right, yes, we've yes, got yes. the belt. Now we must plan our next moves. All right, so... Well, you've got all the items you need. Now we can try freeing your bride. Since Yay. you have the book now, I can't go. I'm not the strong of a Kaldun anymore, to tell the truth. Okay. And Abdiriha is a powerful spirit. Yep. She can charm and skin you alive so fast that you won't know what hit you. Well, that's not ideal. So, Vasya, you must prepare yourself properly. Okay. Perhaps uh, you have some questions. Uh... Yes. What kind of ritual should we perform? I don't remember you teaching me any such things. I've never saved changelings from the bunnies. Okay, so... I think you will need to go down beneath the floor. Beneath the floor? The bunnik will test you there. I'm gonna have to fight a bonnik, aren't I? You have all the right items, but don't forget your wits. Okay. Perhaps uh, you have some questions. Uh, the bunnik. that up, Diricha? Who knows where this one came from? Mm. These things all emerge in different ways. They say a bunnik settles in a banya where 40 children were born. As for okay. this one, the only thing we can say for sure is that she switches out children. Which is rude. Is it an accident or not? Only the Abdiricha can answer that. Perhaps okay. uh, you have some questions. Nah, I'm good. Time to hit the road. All right, time to send out my throats again. He's so mad. These guys are going to be so mad at me. Meaningless job, sir, go. Meaningless job, sir, go. <laughs> They're going to be so mad at me. <laughs> All right. Or I still wonder how word gets out in the land of Perm. I travel to Vilgord. No one fears me like they used to anymore. Dang. Must have heard that I transferred the power to you. Dang. Okay, now we're going to learn a little bit more about Old so Why weren't you killed at the crossroads? Huh. So, the fiends circled around me. Hey. Well, I think that's it. We'll meet Timofey soon. Then... I see one demon wearing a red hat. Oh. So I grabbed it. Then everything froze. Just grab a red-headed demon. Out, the hat was changed to him. The oh. demons went round and round, glaring at me with their fiery eyes. And their leader says, Return the hat. I'll do anything. He okay. can bring back my brother, though. I asked him then. Where do you come from, you accursed demons? And hmm. what do you know? Prokopi, the holy fool, sent them for me as a sort of a sacrifice. Rude. It wasn't the master of the forest who helped him, but demons all along. The children who disappeared in Vilgort were also his doing. I hope he took him out. He fed them all to his chorts. That is severe. Jeez. Among them. <gasps> will curse Prokopi's soul. If I ever see him in hell, even there I'll try to curse him. Holy I'll make crap! I'll sure he suffers. I will. What did you do with the chorts? Send them to kill Prokopi. I feel that's the only right the thing that you probably thought end, to do. Okay. Everyone thought he had drank one too many, but it was my chorts. That's not the end of it, but I'm tired. Next time, okay. I will tell you about the Black Book. Okay. Okay. Items for the bride. Bride need these sort of things. 
I reckon it's the only way she can get out of the ethereal world. She <laughs> needs things from the human world. You see, there's no living man without a cross, a belt, and a name. Really? Not a single living person without a cross and a belt. I mean, most people do have names, but a cross and a belt? This okay. This girl never had any of that. Hmm. Talk to you later. Well, actually, this is... Okay. Yeah, alright. Well, let's get some nice. visitors. I have a problem. Okay. Before we go searching for the charts, can you help me with this business of mine? Okay. There is this old friend of mine. Okay. Rafim is his name. Rafim. The hunter from uh, Kishkanogov Sloboda. That's, that's, that's words. Right. That's cool. He disappeared <laughs> all of a sudden. I don't know what to think after this Abjidiha business. So probably a he short. have been captured by the Leshi. Ooh, do I get to meet the Leshi? Awesome. I hope so. Will you come with me to Sloboda to help find him? I will come to you to Sloboda. Agreed. Right. It's not far after all. Okay, so he trusts me enough to let me carry that out. Okay, you have just taken on one of these tasks. By taking on your companion's task, you pause the progress of your current task and postpone all visitors until the next day. After completing your companion's task, you will resume your current task. All right. Right. Just a couple of hours away. Not far from Yenidor. All right. I lived in Sloboda when I was younger. I remember I had a stash there. All right, Don't Gramps. Miss Elisa, you might need it. Cool. I guess we are off to help him out with that. Let's go to Patina Village. This road passes by Patina Village. Or Pantina Village. My grandpa took me there when he was making his rounds as a cordoon during the haymaking season. Let's go. Okay, apparently I have to do this task before I can do anything else. After a long walk on the old road, you see the wooden dome of the chapel, and then Pantina Village itself. Tired from journeying, Nikolai walks into the first izba he sees to have a mug of kvass and to catch his breath. You grow weary. Something isn't right about this building. Hmm. Wait or follow Nikolai? I think I'm going to follow him. Gloomy hosts serve you and your companion, keeping you on the opposite side of the central beam. Judging by their faces, it seems to you that all is not right in this house. What, did, what just happened here? Prime beam. The interior of an izba is divided by a mine, not mine principle. The central beam, or matitsa, matitsa, is a log that holds ceiling up, divided an izba into two evenly spaced parts. It was forbidden to enter the owner's half without an invitation. Guests sat on a bench by the stove. One of the ends of the central beam jutted out beyond the walls of the izba, and a horse or a rooster was carved into that end. Up to the 19th century, it was carved with seven or nine swings of an axe. That's fascinating. Which is it was its own ritual of sorts. That's some talent to be able to carve a horse or a rooster that's recognizable with only nine swings of an axe. Whew. These carvings were called on to prevent the house from, or protect the house from evil. <clears throat> a rooster is a personification of death, linked to the concepts of the world of the unliving, ancestors and descendants. A horse, or a foal, performed the same protective function. It is no accident that the heroic horse of the legendary Bokatir Ilya Muromets was once an emaciated foal. Other nationalities placed totemic ancestor skulls on top of the house. Okay. Obdurik origin. The origin, of this the, the origin of this mythological creature, in most people's minds, is closely associated with original sin. According to folklore, an Obdurika manifests in a new banya if someone gives birth in it. As soon as a newborn is washed for the first time in a banya, an obdorika springs up. In some regions, it was believed that the number of obdorikas in a banya corresponded to the number of newborns washed in them. That would be so many. In uh, other regions, people believe that an obdorika manifests only after the 40th baby is washed. Obdorika may dwell under the shelves, benches, or behind the furnace of a banya. She is considered a harmful entity, to late washers and especially dangerous to little children. It was believed that small children under the age of one, when left alone in a banya, may be switched by the Obdurika for an ab aspen log. Okay. Well, search the these back. scan the room and the inner porch. 
No demons are to be found, so you go outside. When you raise your head, your suspicions are confirmed. A demon sits on the roof, lazily swatting at mosquitoes. Let's banish you it. You whisper your Zagavar, and the disgruntled Chort flies away with an audible squeak. Looks like he's been sitting on this roof for quite a while. You wonder why he decided to settle here in the first place. Chances are, a Kaldun sent him here for a job, but forgot all about him. Oh. It's kind of rude. This road, Road to Kayib, this road is a bit of a roundabout. The direct route has grown over. People don't use it. Well, let's go find out. I know people, and I use it. <laughs> a dry wind drives small whirlwinds along the road in front of the person who is walking towards you. You calm Nikolai down. This Zagavar peddler is familiar to you. Ah, let's see. Wisdom will enter your heart and be good for your soul. Okay. Bye, Zagavurs. Uh, let's see. We've got in father's name, remove negative status, well versed, or Audelai. Let's get this one. And this one. Okay. And everything else is gone, so it's back to Ust Kaib. Old Yegor hid his, hid his herb stash somewhere in here. With his directions, I should have no trouble finding it. I'm gonna work on slowing down my reading you so it sounds find better. Yegor's herb stash on the outskirts of the village. In the gall bets of an abandoned izba, you find a pot that is covered in dust. As soon as you pick it up, shorts appear. It seems old Yegor left behind his herbs, along with those guarding them. So I can play cards, I think, to win this, but I think I want to fight. I don't I don't know about the card game. <laughs> I don't like fighting, though. You are about to participate in a battle puzzle. In battle puzzles, you get a special set of black book pages with which you need to overcome enemy demons. You can inspect the deck by clicking on the black book at the bottom of the screen near the words that you can cast. During battle puzzles, equipped items and skill upgrades are disabled. Uh, oh, what? Well, I guess I'm going to take a hit. Oh, well, there you go. He's dead now. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm gonna restart this. Because... I think I get, I get it. But I didn't have any... You easily find Yegor's herb stash on the outskirts of... Okay, what is this? He didn't have any protection. Okay, so I just need to use one. Yeah, I can do one, two, that'll be eight. All right, so I could do this one and... Let me see. Seven. Seven. Uh, or maybe this one and this one. That's ten. I'll get more cards, right? Let's try it. Okay. This is a bit off. I don't... So I need to do five damage. I can do five damage, right? No? I may have to do this a couple times to figure this one out. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna try this one more time. Because I want to see if this works out. You easily find Yegor's herb stash on the. If not, I'm gonna play cards. Because I don't think there's a way to do all that damage. So I do. So I could do this one and this one, which would be six. And then. Or this. Yeah, that does me seven. No, but that should only give me six, so it won't work. And I is it impossible? What does this mean? Oh, is that meaning it's being used right now? Okay, so this is all of them. Well, let's try it. It's a fixed Zagavor. No, there's no way for me to do this. Is there really no way for me to do this? Okay. Does this go away? Can I? No, I can't remove it. I don't understand. Removes positive status. Does that remove the status? And then I can do four. So I have to put this one down because I have to remove that status. Or does it? So this would be eight, ten. Why, why not? I don't, I don't know. I have to try this. I, is there a way to beat this? Because 15 damage I can't do. Okay, it does remove it. Okay, I get it now. I didn't think I could remove that status. And there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, all of these are already in the book. All right. Recognizing an heir of the old Khaldun, the shorts flee in horror. You open the clay jar and indeed discover <laughs> a multitude of useful herbs, even dry. They haven't lost their magical properties. Nice. Okay, so a couple of tries to figure that one out, but I got it. All right. All right. Let's go to Bujidung. This crumbling shore has a Permian name. There are a great number of these names in the Uyetst. Uyetst. This old field is called Shutyom for interest. Shutyom? Shutyom mouse. No, sorry. A lively, small river pierced the sandy bank here, forming a wall above the noisy water. You see a strange, dark figure mm. sitting by the water. You sense it's not a demon, but not quite a regular human, either. 
When you come closer, you see it's the Holy Fool with her revolting smile. The Holy Fool? A witch and a soldier. What a pair. A lord and a lady. God bless. Is this the way to Slobada? It is. <laughs> that is a terrifying what face. Are you waiting there for, huh? Old woman, maybe you've seen a friend of mine. He's a hunter. Trafim is his name. I heard he's gone missing. Well, such is life. But I haven't seen him. No. You have hey. to say. Not see the first snow, no. He's a hunter. Wanders around the forest. And you, okay. old woman, what are you doing here at this late hour? Can't I have a drink of water at night? I've got no time for you. No time. Okay, sure, the lady. Abruptly jumps up and with impressive agility disappears into the bushes. Sure. Strange woman gives me the creeps. Me too, Nikolai. Be a witch or a demon. I don't think she's a witch, but. No. Doesn't look like it, but I did sense something odd. Well, Slobada is close. All right, let's go. Kishkin, Kishkinogov Slobada. Slobada was a name for villages free of serfdom. However, there have never been a no, there have never been noblemen here in Tierden. Go figure. You barely encounter anyone in the sleeping village, but Nikolai sets to work with fervor. You look around. It seems that the store is still open thanks to its attached pothouse. A somber wall of coniferous forests stands black on the horizon. Okay. Hmm. Let's go to the shop. Ah! 52. Um, creases receive... Okay. The salted... That's actually not bad. Ailment 5. Increases by enemy for 5. Okay. I should be using these. I haven't been using these at all. Oh, jeez. Why not? There we go. We'll be poor now. All right. Question well, the villagers. We went missing quite a long time ago. We've been searching for him for a week or two already, right? He probably did <sighs> then. Must have fell into a bog of some sort. God rest his soul. Mm. Well, well. He might turn up yet. <laughs> God willing. Okay. Hunter. Did he go missing before? In the middle of the summer? Never. During the hunting season, it mm. is to be expected. He went away for a long time. Maybe he's hunting anyway. And now? Strange thing. Not even a drinker, that one. People saw him speaking to Lucaria, the holy fool, before he disappeared. Did she do something People to him? People ask her, but she knows nothing. A fool, what do you expect? With the amount of misfortunes she had, no wonder she lost her mind. Oh. Misfortunes. What happened to her? She used to be an ordinary gal, but... Then her husband passed away, and her child followed him. Since then, she has gone mad. Maybe he went to help her. Left the village and build a hut in the swamps. Leaves of appearance. Okay. What might she discuss with Rafim? Devil knows. Ask her herself. Okay. Where can we find her? Yeah, where can we? Because we just saw her in the woods and she ran off into a bush. She lives in the swamps <laughs> to the north of here, in a crooked little hut. I myself okay. haven't seen it, but people talk. Though if I were you, I would keep away from those swamps. A dark place. Dark we place. We rarely pass there. Only if you want to take a shortcut to Yanidor. Okay. Well then, let's go. Uh, swamps. swamps. They are called Kasyan Swamps. Kasyan. I don't know who Kasyan is, but one thing is for sure. <laughs> the past through these swamps are windy. One could easily lose their way. Okay. Or Holy fool. Ran into a frightening woman. That was Lucaria. Who else? Every village okay. has its black sheep. We have Lucaria. <laughs> Lucaria. Okay, Hola, come on. If you remember, the woman told us that she hasn't seen Trafim. Right. Something's fishy here. Let's hmm. go to the hut and question the mistress. Wait, Let's do it. You're not a knower, are you? Yep. Can you fix our creek? It's a bit to the west. Okay. A whisper a bit or something. What a creek it once was. 
They call it Dark Creek now. Very well. Thanks for your assistance. We'll offer our help if we're nearby. God eh. bless. All right, so Dog Creek. Let's do that first, and then we'll go talk to the lady, because I'm assuming we're going to be going down a whole bath after this. Something's not quite right about this creek. Things happen here. <laughs> a peasant from the village asks you to check it out and deal with any spirits. Let's go. She's a sleeping. river flow has burst out from the overgrown slope and gurgles down the wooden trough to the crooked platform, long since rotted through and obviously forgotten. You sense ancient devil sorcery nearby and unwittingly tighten your grip on the book. By intuition, you look hmm. under the platform. You were right. You meet the gaze of a devil idol dug from the earth by the flow of the river. Looks like the local peasants are deterred by this ancient sorcery. Why do they say devil in substitute? Take the figurine. You out your hand Golden goddess. The goddess with the tips of your fingers. The moment you start to pull on it, a hairy paw grabs your arm. The ancient artifact is protected by Chu's spirits. Fair to fight. We're gonna fight. All right. Uh, well. Oh, they're only gonna do one damage piece. Oh. This should work, and then smack him. Right? Smack him! Nice! I like the gestures. Yada! Okay. I already visited there, so... Alright, we're off to Kasian Swamp. This is the gloomy swamp where the woman we met on the road to the village built her house. Hopefully, we'll be able to find his friend here. Swamp water glitters menacingly with the sharply pointed stars of the night sky. Nikolai walks in front of you as you pass over hillocks and dry ground. He says that during the service, he had to find his way through even nastier swamps. In the dawn mist, you can finally make out the izba you're looking for. Its black windows gaze at you like the eyes of a dead man. Should I inspect it or should I ambush the holy fool? Cockroaches <sighs> scatter as you open the crooked door. Inside, the izba is even grimier. You smell rot and desolation. You flinch. A shadow ran by the window to the forest. Oh, my shadow ambushed her. All right, chase this woman down. The holy fool ran in this direction. The noises coming from the forest are rather strange. It sounds like bones, and she ate them. No? Ooh, I hope not. Oh, <gasps> cool. Though you lost the fool in the dark, Nikolai follows her tracks as if you were following her in broad daylight. You step under the thick canopy of the unwelcoming forest and pause. You hear a terrible crunch in front of you that evokes the image of dry bones. You're greeted by a huge chort. It's a monster! An egg stump! Okay. Oh, I have to defeat it in two? Oh, okay. Well, you're gonna backhand him. Um, let's see. So we have to do 26 damage in one turn. Increase for 20 turns at the beginning of each round. Oh, jeez. Okay, I have to kill him first thing then, because otherwise I'm gonna die. Fifteen? <gasps> okay, so I have to use this. Save these, then. Alright, so I need to still do some damage, right? Maybe a regular one? Six, and then can I do 20 the next turn? 
maybe wait. Seven. Or well, maybe I should do that and then this. Okay, let's try that and then see if I can kill him from there. Alright, so I have to do 22 damage this turn? Or 20? I have to do 20 damage. Oh, I have to do 15. 15's much more doable. I forgot. Cool. All right, so we need well-versed, well-versed, 14, uh, 12, that's only 14. Ah, I'll try it, but I don't think this is gonna work. It's gonna end up with one. Okay, so I'm gonna have to redo this fight and see what's going on. Okay. Restart battle. 26. I have to use this one. Does this count as using a ability? Because if so, I should use it next turn then. No, that should work. Because that'll give me... Yes. And then I can do 14 damage. Okay, perfect. You're fine. And then smack him. Now I should be able to kill him. Because I have plenty of well-versts. Well-versed. Well-versed. Perfect. Goodbye, sir. Kick his butt. All right. I'm going to do the fierce. Truth! Thousand! Uh, sure, lady. My child. That's your kid? Jesus and his troops. Does she think it's her child? Get out of the forest. I didn't call you, nor would I ever wish to, you damned Kuldoons. Is she out of her mind? Or is it something we're not seeing? What sort of demon are we dealing with here? Changeling. Let me see. Do you think it's a changeling? Knowledge. Oh, I got... Yay, um... Wait, it's this one, right? Or... Money. Uh... This one. I can use more more things per turn. Okay. Portavoy? I think it must be the changeling then. Is it a changeling? Am I wrong? Changeling. Ah, oh, okay. Lord. She nursed her changeling for so long. Soon it outgrow the forest itself. It's clear now. No one grows that much eating regular food. She ate your friend. You're a changeling, you damned witch. <sighs> Trophim. Where is Trophim, you hysterical woman? She fed her, fed him to her kid. Oh, look around. She's been feeding a demon. Feeding it with people. My child must eat, yes. He needs <sighs> food to grow. Cursed woman. 
I'll show you how to kill people. Wait, let's question her first. Yeah. Where did you get the changeling? There's no changeling here. Only my girl, my Lucaria. Try to remember. We may be able to help you. Lucaria, hush, my girl. They will leave soon, and soon you'll have a nap. Oh, uh, this is horrifying. We won't learn anything from her. It's so unlikely we'd find the girl. Who knows how long it took for it to grow that much? Wait. Is she the woman? Who knows how much dreadful food? <sighs> I don't even want to think about it. The Step holy fool. We'll banish this demon. Banish yourself, you filth. Leave me and my Lucaria alone. Be gone. Be gone. <sighs> Enough. Leave this chort alone. The next thing you know, he's going to and Pantina. That won't happen. We'll burn it. I have to do it. For Trefim's sake. Oh, you're gonna get over your fear of fire! Be gone! Be gone! There's no talking to her. Her mind is gone. Here is oh, well. Mind. She's as guilty for my friend's death as the demon. Who knows how many more died because of her? She has to pay for her evil deeds. Is this... The girl we're helping's mother? Is this his mother-in-law? You can't do that. We're not executioners. We aren't. Yeah. You're and plus right, Vasilisa. You've saved me from this sin. Good. Also, I think she might be your mother-in-law. So, yeah. She's gonna jump into the fire herself anyway. And the holy fool is consumed by flames. Nikolai <sighs> tries in vain to pull the unfortunate woman out of the fiery trap. In several moments, she has passed to the other world, following her beloved changeling. Oh well. Well, we tried. <sighs> I I wonder if that was Nikolai's mother-in-law. I mean, how many people have their kid taken by a changeling? What Just saying. Right. I'm glad that short is finished. But I'm still scared. Dude, I do not blame you. like that is there in our hoist. Uh, probably a lot. Them, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. The very reason Kaldoons are needed to help the regular folk and save them from evil spirits. True. Oh, I need to catch my breath. I better go home and sleep. Okay, Nikolai, you do that. I'll take a break Trefim, too. Trefim. Why, sir? Did we at least help the right village? Ah, uh, there's no doubt about it, Kola. I think we did. Thank you, Vasilisa. Okay, you're welcome. Dang, Nikolai, your life went from zero to well. I don't know. You were in a war, and then you came back, and then you have to marry a demon child, kind of, or at least a woman who's been trapped in hell for a long time. And then you had to burn things because your friend was murdered by a tree monster, and probably uh, your mother-in-law just killed herself in a fire. You know, it's been rough. If you need anything, you can always count on me. Nikolai, I'll always count on you and your bitch slap skills. Don't doubt it. No, I don't. You're you're very good at it. Okay. <laughs> I think that's it for today. That was good. Um yeah. <laughs> we'll do this one right here. Yep. And yeah, that is, well, that's Black Walk. It's, um, it's metal. I believe it's the, yeah, metal. That, sh that shit's rough. <laughs> but it's pretty. Do you want to say hi to somebody before I go? She's a sleeping bird. Look at how cute. She's so cute. Hi. You're very shiny, though. She just, like, opened her eye like this, like, and just looked at me like, how dare you bother me while I'm sleeping? You cute baby Kezzy. Okay, well, see you guys later. Yeah, I think it's time for a break. Okay, bye. <laughs>